show this week three very interesting experiments that are explained and described in the book Quirkology by Dr. Richard Wiseman plus of course behind me the weekly painting which has kindly decided to come along and display itself on my show so this week yes three experiments the first one uh, looked into the fact that um, believe it or not when you are born right has been scientifically proven to indicate whether or not you're going to be lucky or unlucky. Only to a small degree, of course. I'm not implying that if you're born the wrong month, you're going to spend your life um, walking around, walking into doors and burning yourself under a hot tap all the time, or something like that, you know. But just in a very small, subtle way, apparently, if you're not born in the wrong months, which I was, uh, seemingly, um, you will be unlucky as compared to people born in summer. Yes, I was born in winter, and uh, apparently, so the graph quite clearly explains if you're born in the summer, you are lucky. -er. And um, it was a massive study, actually, it was um, taken, um, and it was also taken in the southern hemisphere here in a big festival in New Zealand here, in actual fact. It looked, so it looked at uh, the correlation between birth date, aversion to risk taking, and your ability to be lucky. And that's what they found, that if you were born in the summer, you are slightly luckier. Uh, so why is this? Well, there's only a couple of very vague sort of suggestions. Perhaps babies that are born in the winter stay closer to the mother, and they don't, they're not as adventurous because it's so cold, and therefore end up not quite as lucky. Uh, the other one was perhaps it's got something to do with different foods um, in the winter, available in the winter, and therefore, I don't know, affecting their personality or their brain development or something. Who knows, it's a bit hard to say why, but there you go, that's what the data suggests. The second experiment that I wanted to mention, I thought it was quite interesting, um, <clears throat> you can look up now, right, it's not this actual experiment, but it's the concept. If you look up visual illusion, right, you can, and if you do that now and then come back to the video, you can actually do this uh, experiment yourself. So, this um, experiment involved giving people newspapers, and they were told to look through the newspapers and see how many photos were in the newspapers, they had to count the photos. So they were looking through the newspapers, and there, in the middle of the newspaper, there was an ad that said, uh, Win a hundred pound by telling the experimenter you have seen this. Right? Now, not everyone saw it. Well, maybe they saw it, but they didn't notice it, and sort of register or something. So, um, yes, it would seem that um, a lot of people missed out on a hundred quid. Um, and there you go. So, unlucky people. Um, the unlucky people in this experiment were those that were so focused on counting the photos that they didn't see the bigger picture. It's a little like, um, can't see the woods for the trees or something, I guess. Um, the unlucky people were, and it goes on, and that sounds a bit extreme to me, but saying they were withdrawn, clumsy, anxious, and unwilling to take opportunities. Um, the lucky people were more relaxed and they saw the bigger picture. And they were after the hundred pounds, weren't they? So there you go. Now, speaking of luck, um, has the video, has the, I don't know to call these paintings videos, I'm getting real tongue twisted there, aren't I? Here's the painting for the week, I'm going to bring him forward now, a bit of a close up. Don't be shy, it's alright, they won't bite you. So there we go, and um, it's, it's 
quite a bit to this one this week. There's all sorts of things going on there. And, um, there. That's good with the lighting, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so there you go. What I think I'll do is, uh, when I get a few of these paintings, I shall probably take some good photos of them and make one video of just a heap of them. And um, I might then offer them up for sale if you're interested. So keep an eye on my channel. Right, so there you go, that's the uh, painting for the week. Now, the last experiment involves uh, decision making rather than luck. Uh, it's quite interesting also, actually. So, uh, the study involved people going into a calculator shop, right, and there was a calculator for sale for £20. Uh, they were told, however, that there was a sale starting the next day in which the calculator would be included, and then it would only be uh, £5. So, it was £15 less. Uh, there was also a computer in the shop that was £999, and the customer was told that if they came back the next day, they could get it for £984. Now, the question is, if you were, walked into the shop and, in that situation, and you wanted a computer, or you, and you wanted a calculator, which would you buy, if any? Or, would you come back the next day? And if you came back the next day, which would you buy? Because, uh, what they found was that a great deal of, of people in actual fact, and I think the majority of people, um, came back the next day for the calculator, but bought the computer that particular day there and there. Right? Now, that's kind of irrational, really, because in each case it's £15 less. So, um, what I guess the conclusion is, um, is that the people don't take savings into account in absolute terms, but they take it into account in, uh, as a percentage of the amount of money that they are spending. Because at the end of the day, £15 pounds is £15, pounds, even if there's something in there worth tens of thousands of pounds. £15 pounds is still £15. Pounds. So I thought that was quite an interesting experiment. It was 75% of the calculator and only 1.5% of the computer. But in either case, it was only £15. Pounds. So there you go. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, uh, I hope you're enjoying this year. Uh, I see Mr. Obama now as the President of the United States. Well, good luck to him. And um, good luck to all of you. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the weekly painting. I've got one on the way for next week as we speak. Uh, oh yes, and I'm approaching 500 subscribers and uh, also approaching my second birthday on YouTube. And uh, no, I'm not too, coming up two years old, I'm coming up two years on YouTube. And um, yeah, I think it's been a fantastic couple of years. I want to thank you ever so much for subscribing. Keep on subscribing and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll talk about everything else you can do with subscribing in another video. And comment and rate and um, keep watching. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next week and I'll be over 500. Bingo. Thanks a lot. See you later.